I don't know why I have to do that. You have to. So, it needs to happen. I already told you why. I already told you why. You know why? You know why it needs to happen. You need to talk about it. It'll be good for you. Really, it'll be good. Just give me 10 minutes, all right? 10 minutes. All right, guys, so I've been wanting to do this video for the last 30 days, um, but uh, just have something to say to you guys. I'm getting separated uh, from Vanessa, but it's only gonna be for about uh, seven and a half months. Well, some of you guys know I'm in the military, I'm in the Air Force Reserves, and I'm getting deployed. I will probably be gone by the time this video airs, but uh, yeah, this is the first deployment Vanessa will be involved with. Um, I've deployed three times already with my ex and my ex-wife. Um, she dealt with those. But this is actually the first time that Vanessa will be dealing with one herself. Um, she didn't want to do this, obviously, because it's emotional for her. Because she doesn't want to think about it. She's, uh, she's actually said this. Can't you fucking be gone already? Just be gone so you can come back already. So I, that's understandable. Um, and we're probably about... 30 days away from <laughs> everything's 30 days away <laughs> 30 days from the uh, actual start of the my orders and then um, I'll be leaving actually his your orders start on, on our anniversary right now we don't have the exact days we're gonna do another video maybe like a uh, couple of days or weeks prior or maybe a week prior to me leaving but um just so you know I it's really hard on Vanessa because She's never dealt with this before. The longest we've been apart was maybe 60 days, 45 days before. No. What? It's never been that long. Yeah. Well, 45 days, 30 days then? 30 days. 30 days since we've been known each other. Um, so it's going to be pretty hard on her. But uh, the one thing I always tell her is you need to keep busy. Um, there's, there's an issue because... Um, in, in this relationship with with this military deployment um the issue is that uh vanessa's kind of codependent on me and to help her out with kids life business whatever you need i need to go get something for her business i'll go grab it but uh i won't be around i, I gotta put her to sleep <laughs> which is really funny <laughs> like uh, putting the monsters to sleep <laughs> but uh i really want to let uh, everybody know that when people deploy individuals deploy sure we're doing our job we're we're leaving our family but uh there's a hole back home because even if it's for our unit our our parents or husband i mean husband wife or kids there's a hole there and there's you know a person missing that has been um been there for a very very long time and i've been here for a very long time so that's something that Vanessa's gonna have to deal with and she hasn't dealt with that before. So I just wanna get her take on how she's feeling right now and what he, she expects and what she thinks and you know, what's gonna be coming up. I told you I didn't wanna do this. I don't know why you're making me do this right now. Because it needs to happen, babe. I don't, what do you want me to say? I mean, it's it's something that I I've never dealt with before, and then I I have a really hard time dealing with grief, and it's it's it reminds me of grief. But I know that you're gonna come home, you know. But there's a chance that you may not come home. Mm. There is a chance. There's always there's a chance. That, yeah, you might not come home from driving around four or five. I get that, but mm. you know, it's just I, it's just hard for me to. You know understand and, and be sure that you're going to come home and you know there's a, a possibility or a thought in the back of my head that you won't come home and i don't and i don't like that feeling yeah but you should never thought think that way you should always be positive like well, you always are i am i am positive and I, but you know it's still scary and um on top of that it's like you know the uh, not even the financial burden because you know it's not about the money. It's it's more about the emotional support that you know you give me um, on a daily basis. You know, you know, you get on my nerves. I fucking hate you sometimes. <laughs> you I do tell me that all the time. I, I do, I do. But I mean, <laughs> even my kids know if the way I show love and affection is is sometimes it's a little brutal. You know, but it's that's mm. just who I am. You know, like it's, I'm just a tough person. I grew up in a tough home. I grew up with two brothers, so. 
You know, there was no like lovey dovey there. It was like fucking tough. Is love. that is that why Edna's tough? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's you grew she, up. Uh, my sister grew up with four brothers, so we made her tough. So I'm glad about that. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's, it's just something that I don't like to talk about or try to think about. I mean, it's coming up closer and closer, and I know that the time is coming, and I I know it because I I work off of a calendar. That date is constantly being cr come across because. They want to make an appointment either A on that day or around that day. So I flip through the calendar and I'm like, oh, I can't do it on that day. And like I, I break down every time that happens. It's like I want to rip that page out of the book so I don't see it, you know, because obviously I can't make an appointment on that day. So, yeah, it's just it's just going to be hard. And I, and I know that it, it is going to be hard and, and it's going to be I'm going to be like I guess lonely. I'm going to be sad. Um, You know, it's just. That's just pretty much it, you know, it's like there's a lot of things that you do that, you know, I don't like always tell you or, you know, not that I take for granted, but it's just it, there is and I know it's going to be hard. I, I know it's going to be tough, you know, and it's like, you know, I got I just got to deal with it. You know, like you say, I have to deal with it. And I know I'll be fine and I'm tough and, you know, I'll be OK. But, you know, it's, like I said, I've never had to experience that. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of hard and then the whole situation with your kids you know is your ex gonna allow me to see the kids so it's like it's almost like a separation like from three people not just one person because you know i get to see the kids and of course it's fucking hectic when we have six kids in this house running around and juggling and i want water and <laughs> i want cereal and you know all those annoying little things that they do but then the day like i love them you know it's like it's just they're, they've been in my life. I mean, Iris has been in my life since she was eight months old. You know, Jeremiah was going to be two, you know, mm -hmm. so they're, they've been with me, you know, all this time. And it's like now it's going to be a separation from them as well. Um, I hope she lets me see the kids. You know, I, I, I'm I'm not a bad mom. I'm not a bad stepmom. You know, I'm tough. But, mm -hmm. you know, I I really hope that you know, she finds it in her heart to, to let me see the kids. And I know that they'd want to come see me, even though you're not here. Like, I'm I'm part of their life. But, yeah. you know, that's all just, you know, it's basically in her hands. Yeah. Which that's, we've looked into it. And, you know, there's no um, court order. There's nothing that we can request to see the kids. Uh, me, as a, as, a, as a stepmother, as a wife, I have no power of anything with your kids unless you're here yeah. you know and which is i guess understandable because i mean what if i was like a mean lady and then who would you know you wouldn't want someone to have rights to your kids if they're mean you mm -hmm. know but i'm not mean so i don't know we'll see i guess that's what makes me sad too because it's not just one it's like three people that i'm not going to see for quite some time yeah and it's not just you it's also Lola Renee. Yeah, all the siblings, everybody, like, you know, as, as like I said, as, as chaotic as, as our household is and as annoying and frustrating and, you know, all those things, you know, there's a lot of joy that comes with having, you know, all these kids in the house and, you know, trying to, you know, get to a birthday party or, I mean, shit, <laughs> just trying to take them a shower is just a mission, you know. <laughs> So, or just trying to feed them. Like, that's what I usually do for them um, when they're here. On They wake up here on Sunday mornings, and I like to make breakfast for them and, you know, show them that, you know, we're a family and we like to, you know, we change their pickup time to from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock so we can all try to have dinner together as a family. So it's going to be, you know, tough with, you know, just sad mm -hmm. without having them here, you know, like they have their own, they have their own room now and their own stuff. And then all four of them together, it's just, it's just, it's going to be, it's going to be tough for, for all of them. And especially it's going to be tough on my kids not to have you around because again, you, you, you're the one that will take them to Starbucks. You're the one that'll, you know, get up and take them to school on time. You're the one that's, they know they can go to, well, where's David, you mm -hmm. know, because they know that things that I don't want to do. They're like, we're going to go through David and David will figure it out or he'll pick us up or he'll, yeah. you know, he'll, he'll pick up mom's slack because mom's tired. So David will do it. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like, it's going to be tough. It'll be okay though. In the end, it'll be okay. You'll, you'll get all my money. Don't worry about it. You and my ex-wife will get oh, all my money. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Told you when you come home, I'm going to have a new house. I'm not going to live here no more. You're going to pull up and be like, what the fuck? 
oh, I'm sorry, we just bought a new house, you know. Yeah, and on top of that is taking care of like the homes I have or we have here. Like we have a home in um, Hawaii. She's gonna be dealing with that and uh, remodel too over there and possibly, well, I have a home here, but my sister most likely gonna be taking care of that. And just like our, our investments all over the place, that's another thing we're gonna deal with because I always have to deal with that. I, Maybe I'll have a new husband when you come no, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's kind of weird too because my my brother's in the army and he's gonna be de he's deployed right now and he's uh I don't think I'll get to see him because of the locations that we're at but it's, it'll be uh, kind of interesting for me because I've been deployed one of my good friends in the same area but not the same base but now I'm gonna be deployed same time as my brother so it's something that my mom has to deal with also and she hasn't helped dealt that well, she has never dealt with something like that before so and another thing i've been married to vanessa i've known vanessa for like over four years now and she's never met my brother because he's in the military he's like he's active army so maybe when i come back maybe she'll get to meet him for the <laughs> first time she's only met him through facetime uh, through facetime and stuff so it's just like so that's another thing that's real well she's never really encountered because there, there'll be times when family members will not see each other for years because they're overseas, because they had deployments and they can't make it out. There's so many things that's going on. A lot of uh, civilians that are not involved with military families or have a base around there don't realize what kind of sacrifice people make in the military active reserve or whatever you call it, the guards, um, with not seeing their families. And that's something I've actually done myself because i don't remember when's the last time i actually like saw him either i think i might have saw him seen him since i got out of the active duty but you saw him when you went over there you went to spend some time with him that's when i saw him oh on FaceTime. yeah i did see him for, for you a went little... somewhere you were like yeah. out there for something and then you stayed at his house and yeah, then that's I when i met him yeah i went for training in virginia for some time and then I went down to North Carolina where he's at. Yeah, and I brought his car actually, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I remember that now. That's the last time I saw him. He, and that's when I met him. <laughs> it's gonna be a little uh, trip for us of how this is gonna go. But uh, yeah, I just wanna get this quick video in there to see how it is initially for her. I'm gonna do another one. Like I said, uh, maybe a week out or something and, and we'll do a a video of the last day um, that we're together and see how that goes. Well, thanks for uh, listening. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.